Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Between Empires mod. So, last time around we were talking about, or we've been talking about for the last few episodes, trying to get to war with Great Britain, but now it's finally happened. So, uh, just to make sure here, we can go fabricate against someone else. Yes, that is actually doable, which means he has completed his task at hand, and if we go through notes, and then we end up in... Da, 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 where am I going? I'm going for the British Empire. British Empire, so here. The British Empire has friendly relationship with the German Empire, 44. The German Empire has recently provo was recently provoked by a subject of the British Empire, and there's a risk of war. Um, I know that I, it popped up quickly, but I don't remember exactly what. I think guard, guard or like border um, guards shot at each other. Most likely, um, I am the one. Since we have now fabricated a um, claim against the British Empire, I should be able to go ahead and declare war on them. And um, you can see their generals right here. Currently, they seem to be at war with basically everyone, so it should be rather easy actually to invade. Obviously taking towns and stuff is going might be more difficult. I think Great Britain has um, developed quite a bit in terms of their technology. I think anyways. Usually it's... A, I've seen a lot of smaller countries getting gas but also the stormtroop tactics. Uh, one interesting thing that I was looking through here, when I was looking through, I was looking at what countries have high infamy. So 14 for Afghanistan, um, 6 here for the French Commune, and so on. Uh, not a lot of high numbers. Uh, 27 for Switzerland, that's pretty high. But then I clicked on Sweden. 118! How do you manage to get that much infamy without, like, claiming a completely, uh, like, a, an entirely uh, country? Somehow they managed to do that. I don't know how, but they have. Rather odd. Anyways, we're uh, going to go ahead and declare war. First, I should call on my... Can I do this like this? Um, ask you something. Interested in holding a, f a feel of my... Tell me your story again. No, none of this is interesting. Um, ah, I'm a marshal. I wish to send the message to a vassal of the realms. Start a new campaign. Assemble the army here. Yes, we must gather all the forces. Before we march on the enemy. Good. Right, so we are mobilizing. Oh yeah, um, as of in between episodes, I was running about and I was checking a few taverns. Now I thought that I'd managed to get basically all of the different characters you could, uh, but I, then I found some more. So we got Kill Killian. Um, what did I equip you with? Oh yes, I have been able to get the other submachine gun that was available, uh, which is the Italian one. It's got a really high fire rate. Which I, I can actually ch test that out in a tavern. I can show you guys. But he's got that one. Um, then we got Engelbrecht Patrick. I can't remember what I gave you. I gave you a bloody shotgun. That's what I gave you. And then we had another lady. Always look awful in those hats, because it, well, the hair disappears. I gave her the Madison machine gun. Um, so, we've got some extra... I don't know if they like each other. Probably not. They always hate each other. Um, let's go to the tavern to just sh show these off. So, first, we're going to use the, the MP-18. And you kind of get the fire rate on that one. Then we're going to use the Italian one. And let's listen. L l just listen to this one. 
I, the fire rate is at least double just by the sound of it and just how long it takes to run through the mag. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which one is best because I imagine in a pickle clearing out you know, a corner in a trench you might want to just dump everything as quickly as possible but at, um, if you want more controlled fire you might want to have more like the MP18 which I mean, currently, the way we've been fighting, I think the MP18 is probably more suited for the kind of uh, things we've been doing. But, you know, just listen to this. Just terrifying the enemy. And making them run away. Let's go to the headquarters then and declare war. Or maybe I should actually wait a little bit. You know... Great Britain is actually at war with like everyone, so we'll give them a t some time to actually um, figure out what to do here. So, it's time to go to war. Send out an emissary. I want to go to war with the British Empire. Considering we have a valid reason to attack the British Empire, I don't see any inherent reason why this should why this should speak against us. If you wish, I will send out a message to the ambassador immediately. Then send the ambassador a message, and one to our generals too. German Empire has declared war on the British Empire. Lucky for us, they are at war with, like, everyone. So, um, yeah. We should be gold, and they shouldn't have any, um... Shouldn't have... There we go. Declaration of war. German Empire has declared war on the British Empire. And they shouldn't have any allies. I think... In terms of this... I don't want to go for London for the first part. I think... Um, Bournsmouth, then? Or maybe we should go in from... Exeter? I think that might be a bigger city. Like a proper city. Just they're looking at the text... You have Exeter, Cardiff, Oxford, Liverpool, Manchester, Norwich, not Newcastle, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Inverness, I guess, Dublin, possibly Cork. No, probably just Dublin, actually. Probably means that... Yeah, Bournemouth is a smaller one. Um, I guess we'll go for Bournemouth, and then from there... We'll head to Exeter, and then we'll control like a big part down here, which we can land troops from. And then we would head north to Oxford, in between the rivers. And from Oxford, we would head down to London. Right, let's go ahead and gather the troops, let them come to me. So, we're going to wait here. What I've done, I should just show it right here real quick, is military arrangement. At this point, we are supplied to 100% with everything. We've got 64 garrisons, more importantly 35 divisions with 4,000 men. Could probably increase this even more, since we quite recently put down a revolt. Meaning that um, I've got some, uh, some uh, capital, as it were, political capital to burn before we would see another such revolt. So you can see here, healthcare, 100, infrastructure, 100, education, 100, military expense, 100. It's all, it's all going really well for us. And now I might just throw everything away with a war. But I doubt the British Empire has a lot to put up against us. Kingdom of Serbia breaks an alliance with Great Britain. So I guess they were called upon to join and they did not. Relationship with the French Republic has increased. No surprise there. Let's go ahead and just run through and once I have a, a pretty good army I'll cross the channel and attack those British dogs. As I was gathering my troops we actually have a small British division passing through our land and uh, if nothing more than to give a good chase here. What's this? Greece. No, thank you. 
no need for that. Sweden actually recently actually got... Uh, oh, our infamy has decreased. I guess we gained some from declaring war on Great Britain. Uh, no thank you, no thank you. 85. I'll basically... I've uh, outrun my own divisions. But I'm catching up on this guy, so it will probably be just the two of us fighting here. Who knows? Uh, ooh! Riots in the British Empire. Wonderful. Just what I want to see. Uh, everyone just makes alliances and then immediately breaks them. There we go. I don't think anyone joins me. So it'll be a little bit more of an even fight than it was before. What is your name, sir? If we are come to if we come to blows, I would like to know my fight. I am the German Emperor. Right. This is uh, I'll say this only once. Surrender or die. Very well. I hope that we might avoid coming to blows, but I see that I will have no choice. Let's go ahead and start the battle, so you can see that I've only got my own division against theirs. But I've got twice the numbers. Let's go ahead and start the battle. So one thing that I've um, kind of uh, wondered about is I'm pretty sure it said somewhere that the um, these um, shock troops that they're supposed to. Ooh, I notice now that I've only got three machine gunners. That needs to be remedied, remedied, and I need to get some more of them. Where's all these troops standing in the way? There's quite a few uh, guys just standing around, which I'm not sure what they're up about. What that's up about? I was about to say we're not really receiving that much fire, but there comes the British fire. I want to see, are they digging in? Because I bet they are. They put the guns on the front line. They are sending troops forward. To make sure that our guns are not trained on their artillery from the start. Ooh, I just received some fire. Alright. We need to move forward. To keep away from the enemy. Now, what it looks like is we kind of got a ridge going through here. And I think we're going to set up on that one. We're going to move troops forward. So if fourth go there, and third go there, then first will follow fourth, and second will follow third. As soon as the first... And then machine gunners, of course. Yeah, the uh, shock troopers move a lot faster than normal troops, don't they? And we kind of need to get a position where the field guns can fire. I think they might be able to fire from up here. There's a lot of trees and stuff in the way. Um, the enemy is actually losing more troops than us. Let's fire gas. As I'm preparing my troops to move into position to dig in. What did I send second? Second follows third. And first follow fourth. So the fourth have lost a lot. Okay, they're getting up on the ridge line there. Now able to shoot at the enemy. Digging in. Third. In position, ready to dig in. Second following. I'm gonna give second. I'm gonna put second on the flank there, see if I can get them into a position. Since fourth have lost so many, I want first to actually move in and take that position from them. And then we need to get the machine guns in there. We're gonna get machine guns. In with the third. Which one was this? 
second went with third. They should dig in. Also, it would be nice if third decided to actually stand in the trench and not to the side. You know what? That's not a good angle to try and get them into the trench. There we go. That should be good. Sort of-ish. <laughs> telling them to run all over the place. My machine guns aren't firing. I think they might get a better spot from here. Um, we've done a lot of good work here on the enemy. The British here, we can definitely see that they've been able to upgrade to the next stage since they got helmets on. But they're being completely suppressed in the first trench line has been completely overtaken but the uh, two in the back are still held are my field guns firing? yes they are actually not entirely sure how successful they are We can see a lot of fire coming in around here. Doesn't look like all of the guns are firing from the field battery. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the field battery up to the position here. Where 4th and 1st Regiment took position. I want to keep the enemy suppressed, but I'm thinking now is the time to have 3rd move forward. One thing that I've been wondering about is 3rd and 2nd I put next to each other. What I've been thinking we can bring 4th up again set them there see if we can um, maybe um, put down some good fire upon the enemy with um, with the gas. Right, look how fast they are, the stormtroopers. Compared to the normal infantry. And so fast they're even running kind of in front of their uh, the unit. So in that advance, third of course lost a lot of troops. See about getting them into the trench. Continuously firing here. I'm gonna get the other two up here now as well. Oh, I'm getting I'm clicking the wrong ones. So first we'll back up here. Fourth will come to this side. I don't think the machine guns. Are my machine guns firing? They are. And my field batteries... If they come to this side, I'm pretty sure we'll get even better shots. There's only 16 enemies left. They, it looks like there are a lot more. I'm gonna take a chance. Normally it goes really bad when I try to ride in an attack. And... Uh, do it on my own. Oh, they are retreating now. There's still some, and I'm fearing that that is like the enemy machine gun. And they'll get completely annihilated by that as we move forward. So there are two units up there. Okay, at this point I'm gonna tell everyone to charge. So let's go for it, lads. And as we do that, I'm gonna just get the heavy guns to fire gas. 
What is that the one that's left? That was the one guy. There's one here somewhere. Oh, there he is. I accidentally shot the friendly one. Shit, 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 shit. Ooh. That's what we're looking at. I'm not very nice of me to shoot the my own soldier. Alright, there's some troops retreating over here. The fire rate is so high on this, like, I ran out of bullets so quickly. Okay, these guys are not interested, apparently, in surrendering. Just spray and pray. I didn't notice any gas though. D God damn it. We were victorious. The first battle against Great Britain has been won. And, um. Uh, we didn't suffer that badly. 26 killed. Still pretty bad. But we were attacking. We were attacking the British defensive position, so. I say that's uh, all right by me, for sure. Right, so when it comes down to it, we had 75 casualties, 26 killed, 49 wounded, compared to the enemy, which had 86 casualties, 71 killed, 14 wounded, and 1 routed. Um, I could take him as prisoner, but no. You have fought well and you are free to go. Gain some honor and some of their uniforms. Nothing that I want to keep. Given the amount of ammo we're running through, I think we will keep this for a little bit. I want to also test possibly doing machine gun. Captain, I must say, I must tell you that I question Kermit Nicolo's medical credential as we were treating our wounded after that. The last battle I saw, uh, I saw fit to remedy him that he, what, I saw, I saw fit to remind, remedy, remind him that the peerless Galerian often advocate administering a disti, distillation? Distillation of be beetroot to restore the humor imbalance brought by loss of uh, sanguinity. Kermit responded that Galerian was an antiquated know nothing. Captain, no true doctor would have such disrespect for the great master of the past. I do not believe you should employ such an obvious imposter. What? So you recommend beetroot to balance the humors that's that's you, we're talking renaissance medicine here that's way too old we need penicillin and morphine and morphine and uh cocaine that's what we need not balancing the humors how much how much cocaine to balance my humor i'd i'd wonder uh he's that kermit it's weird saying kermit kermit is actually a valued member of this company and i would like it if you don't pick fights especially about stuff like balancing the humors you should be embarrassed of yourself right the first battle um Let's see if we we have we have quite a few. Let's see if we can cross. Let's see if we can cross, shall we? We will cross the channel. Maybe I'm um, maybe I'm a bit overconfident as we go across, but you know, caution to the wind. We will cross. There's no British Navy. Imagine if they suddenly just battleships turn up and. Uh, annihilate me as I was trying to cross. Austria and area seek to. I uh, thing is, I I would, but the alliances go complete haywire 
and I don't want to be at war with anyone else. I want to completely focus on Great Britain. So no, I'll decline. Even though it would be um, historically accurate. Right, let's cross the river, shall we? The river. The channel. Where did all the other divisions go? I'm far outpacing all of them. French Republic loves it that I'm, that I'm at war with Great Britain. No wonder though, they're basically they're basically gone if you look at what they have. They have a little bit here, and then they have a little bit in Italy. They've been almost you know, wiped out in their colonies. Um, so yeah, they're not doing very well indeed. They would be um, really, I guess, uh, should be allying themselves with the British instead, because, well, if we lose, they have a chance to regain France proper, instead of, you know, fighting in the with the communists over the scraps that I left of their empire. Anyways, let's go ahead and lay siege to Bournemouth, and take that for ourselves. We've got plenty of divisions ready for the attack, as you can see right here. So, once again, let's go over the top and attack our enemies. As per always, we're going to uh, set up the formations. Need to get the troops out there quickly. I wonder, since the stormtroopers so quick I wonder if I can have them charge right from the start and have the rest of my troops um, kind of just covering them So we want to make sure then that they're walking, but I'm going to give them the order to attack. What's this? What is this? Why do they have blue pants? Who are these? Must be leaders of some other unit. Right, I'm going to give the order for three and four to charge while we have... Uh, First company and second company backing up, and then the machine guns up, the field batteries bombarding, and now the heavy battery will launch gas. So we can see, um, yeah, uh, th they are not actually losing any um, stamina. Even though they're in the attack or charging towards the British position. Would you look at this? Damn you! Damn your eyes! What is that? Is that a. Uh, what I think it is? That's a Martini Henry! Looks like the war has taken a toll on the British. They're forced to retreat. The Lancer cavalry included in that. My stormtroopers charging the position while they're covering by covered by the other companies. Since all the artillery fire and so on is going on at this position, I wonder if. I wonder if the company that will send upon the, the second redoubt, if they're going to do too well. I'm guessing that is third. Yeah. I'm going to tell third not to charge. They're going to just hold position there. One question that I've been wondering is, they're supposed to... The shock troopers, it says they're supposed to be able to use... 
like a special grenade attack, I think. I'm not sure. But I haven't seen any of it. We can see third is has lost a lot of its stormtroopers. Fighting capabilities is down low. This is cleared out. These guys will die to artillery given the time. So I will order fourth actually to go across and link up with third. Third is in a really bad position, so I think we'll move both of them back into this kind of hollowed out area. And we'll renew the attack from there. Uh, third is retreating. We'll bring all the companies together now. So first company, and then second company will move slightly onto that side. The MGs will be moved up, and the field guns will be set. Let's see if third is back in action. Yes. We'll set them down here then. Get into positions. Right. First and second company. Producing a lot of fire down towards the enemy, plus the machine guns. Soon enough the field artillery will set up as well. It's still aiming way over here. Because I guess we didn't clear out... There's one British dude there that we didn't clear out, unfortunately. And that is holding us back. I guess I might have to go out there and get him. It's a shame! That I don't get my horse, but then again, it would be kind of weird for me to get a horse. Um, we haven't seen any of the British counterfire. I wonder if it's because they've got field guns and they've like they don't have howitzers, and that's why we've been spared their fire. But my cannons right there should be taking fire from theirs, if that was the case. Is he still alive? No, now he's dead. It's actually the group behind there that is gone. But still, I would like the field guns to be focusing over on the second redoubt. I'm gonna go down. Oh, there's a British machine gun. Oh, that ah, oh, that's a shotgun gun guy firing. I was wondering. It kind of looked like the shrapnel shot from the Great War mod for uh, Napoleon Total War. So I'll tell 3rd and 4th to follow me. We'll start to try and advance here on the enemy's position. If that is possible. Looks like third stopped. Keep up with me. Alright, are they coming? Yes, they are. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. I put them on walking. Should still work, though, right? I'm gonna get. I want the field guns fire, so I'm gonna move them over here. We should make our entrance over on the right side. Yeah, I'm running through all this bloody fire. This friendly fire, though, it's coming in. Okay, before we jump into the trench, I would like gas to be poured upon this place. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Who's shooting at me? Okay, I'm gonna order third and fourth to charge. 
Fourth Company forced to retreat. Now the field guns are pouring in. Right, I'm gonna order all to charge then. So both first and second company will charge in as well. So we got the entire line now going. Plus we got gas. And now we're going in. Let's see if I've got what I've always wanted to run up a trench. Gas is kind of dissipating. But that's only good because that means that I can actually see what's going on. Okay, I got those two. We need to make it through the line. There's quite a few down here. They're just around the corner. I think I got some. We got the second guy. The third guy. Ooh. Tore his head off. The rest of them are running. As my troops come up. Got a few while they were retreating. These guys kind of stuck in the mud here. Not good look. Going off to the last bit now. There's two guys over there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the spray on that. Controlled burst. Kind of works. You'll have to control the burst, otherwise it just goes hay complete haywire. This is working, guys. Come on. Let's go for the last bit here. Can I... I wonder if I can even do some control bursting all the way from over here. Oh, yeah. Well, it did 13 damage. It's not a lot. Is this water, water... Is this water, water? Or is this water moving really fast for some reason? There's not a lot of cover over here. Luckily for me, it looks like they're facing something else. Why isn't my heavy guns firing? Why isn't the howitzer shots landing all around here? I'm completely in the flank of these guys. Oh. I want to sit down to get better accuracy, but I guess not. A lot of damage, as we can see, but didn't seem to have hit anyone. My troops are closing in. Right, we're in this trench as well. Moving down the line. Oh, we're, our plan was foiled by uh, by some wood. It's a bit, a bit of a shame that you sometimes end up underwater. No. Unfortunately, in the moment of glory, as I was just about to clear out the last trench, the game crashed. Uh, I decided that I wasn't gonna go ahead and refilm that, so uh, taken control of the place. Wonderful. Fine. Um, given the time I've spent on making this, I think it's time we ended this. So, we've taken this, we also got Saddle Spray and Port Portsmouth um, in the bargain. So we've made a, uh, what's it called? A beachhead to land more troops. Next up is Exeter. I'm hoping... They will meet the British in a big field battle. But that seems very unlikely. 
That only happened in the beginning, like when we met the Russians very early on in this campaign. Since then, everything's devolved and everyone's at war with each other. Um, so, not very likely. But what I might do is I might continue much of it on my own and let my rest of my army just wander the land as it were. Anyways, looking at the time right here, it's high time to end the episode, so I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.